You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the March 27, 2023 meeting of the Long Beach Public Works Committee. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Okay, we'll call to order the Long Beach Public Works uh, Committee. <clears throat> I need, uh, oh, and here comes Rick, good. Well, because we needed a quorum. Yeah, so you did. Uh, we need a motion for the approval of minutes from the February 27th meeting. Thank you. I have a, do I have a second? I second. Oh, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Okay. So, uh, Greg, the Greg Paris show. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, we had our water audit validated um, for 2022. Um, it was sent down to IFA. Um, according to the water audit, we're on target, no big water loss issues, and all the water is accounted for. Um, if anybody would like to see that, we can, can look at it. Um, the retaining wall for the power. To start construction as soon as the uh, materials are delivered. Um, Bob Atovich said he's expecting delivery of materials this week, and actually they were delivered this morning. Um, so that's going to be going forward. Oh, good. Um, On that, Greg, do you think there's maybe a day or two that we might want to barricade off Foxdale just to allow them to work since they're so close to the roadway there? We'll back I don't know if we have to, and IP does, so let us know, but I. I don't think so. He's used to working in tight quarters. All right. He's going to use the school construction work. So, 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 so. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. I think she probably said it. Um, yeah. 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 Even, even if we did it for a day or two while he's up there doing the major stuff and at it for Mon and uh, yeah. down here at St. Lawrence. So, this mm -hmm. progresses. Okay. Um, also, um, IDEM and EPA released their guidelines and copper inventory and they're going to release a template that we can use to put our data in um it's it's going to be a lot of work um but we and we got to do it we we have to 2024 to beat that down okay so um once we get that template it should be out this week we'll know more about what we're going to have to put into that um, it sounds like we're going to have to know exactly what type size and service line that's actually coming into the homes, which isn't our responsibility, but I guess force us to and we have we have to know that information. So and then I'll ask you for the GPS and all that. So so the Lakeshore drive upgrades that we're looking at doing, will this assist if those are done prior to that? That's gonna help. Then those will not need to go onto that inventory credit. Okay. Yeah, anything that we get done before 2024, we won't have to we won't have to inventory it as a web. And then in 2024, what month was it? Was the latter part or October 16th, I think is the now. So we've got a good 18 months for that. So I um I talked to our vendor last week, um, our supplier that's getting this uh our materials. They're speculating we should have those um, at the end of April, early May. Um, so once we get the materials and we can, I can go back to house and have them start the bidding process. And like we had talked about before, I, I, I know we talked about it, and John, about giving them like a year, you know, say a year from June, you know, that way, because everybody's going to be booked up for this year, you, you're probably not going to get anybody starting it until maybe winter you know early spring so that's kind of the buzz i know here i think once you get the parts back let's get in front of the council again update the council and then we'll get a you know approval from the council to move forward on and allowing us to get the bidding process going and that and then you can 
you know, meet before and get them. Oh, yeah, okay, that sounds good. Um, but and I think that's that's all I have. Could I have that so that when Lynn and Diane yeah. comes, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When you talk about your inventory, what's our leakage percentage or whatever? What's the type of inventory you guys call us something else? Um, they call it unaccountable un water, they call it um, unbillable water. Um, our percentage is probably three, three percent, um, which is very low. I don't even look at it, I should look at anything over in lead. Okay, so we our system is pretty tight and we can adjust for five. For most of our unbillable water. So um, it always comes up pretty good at the end. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, at the end, of, I'll ask you. Soon. Okay. Good. Tom? Morning. Morning. Um, our CCMG spring summer paving project was awarded. Uh, last Monday night, and I was awarded to Milestone. I really don't have much of an update for uh, 2023, stop 17, nothing really has much change for that. And um, outer repairs and paving, we, we haven't had much discussion on that either. So we kind of have to start moving forward on discussions on that, what we're going to do, what we can do, maybe. It once you know we get a contract with Milestone, which is got to get into end on. I think you were authorized to sign it, right? Yes. So as soon as the contract, and actually I texted that Milestone guy and asked him if he was going to get it out right away. He said, "Yeah, they were on it already." So as long as that all that gets back to end up by the sixth, that maybe what we'll do is you know set up a free job with them, which we usually do anyway, and then see if we can take one out and show them the ones you want to do. Okay, and see if we can afford to have them all or whatever. You know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, other than that, everything's been going along pretty good. We're trying to do some things here in, the, in between the weather that keeps changing right now. That one day we're going to have snow on the weekend, and maybe not. Maybe we are. We don't know. And then didn't I think it was Mark that put it out about the leaf pickup? It's in April. So is it like is, are they going to do like the one swipe through the town? Yeah, one one pass through. Um, usually we have them start on the west end and work their way uh, east. Okay. And, and was it toward the end of April? April twenty fourth through the twenty eighth. Okay. And this morning, Renee is working on putting it on the town's website. Also, it'll be in big old red lettering. For everybody has to notice as well. And that's it. Thank you. Okay, so the water uh I need to remind Chris Willoughby that we need a an ordinance for the vacant lots. So I will I'll take care of that. Actually, I'll send him an email and ask him when we can look at it. Uh the next item is the this is a very old business. It's about the water advisories. Uh, discussion in January 2022 to work with civic system and for the audience the civic system is our program that we record everything that we that the, that the residents pay uh, and they were going to set up a real-time online credit card payment that will automatically load into our cash receipting civic told them at the time that they were working to get more user friendly well it took a year Lynn just reported they emailed her on March 14th. So I think we need to make a motion, and I'm happy we have a forum that we, that the water department will take charge of getting this to happen because it will be the water's cash receiving, not the tenants. So do I have a second on that? Yeah, I'll second that. Okay. And then we'll have to do a roll call. I'm sorry, who's the it's a cash receiving and it's online credit card for the water when people make water payments. So it's just to get it going. Yes, to get it going. Okay. So Scott. Oh, can you unmute yourself? Okay, I can read your I saw you sign. Okay. I saw uh, that. Sorry, right. Rick? Aye. Don? Yes. John? Aye. And I'm an eye. Okay. 
So the next item is the public works new business. Is that you? Or is that Mark? Okay. I mean, we haven't done anything specific with it that I'm aware of recently, but where we need to start getting the department heads. I mean, unless you've already done that. No. Heads. Yeah, this was the one we were going to do just for like the infrastructure for um, drainage issues, major paving, stuff like that. Because in the capital plan, we don't have some of these things in there, but we want to include that. So I think the goal is for myself to work with Greg and Tom, come up with like a five year plan of like Lakeshore Drive paving and some of the other things and start tackling some of these projects and putting kind of a price to them and then getting it to the budget and finance committee so they can plug in some numbers. Okay. We we need to revisit, you know, like the plows and whatever other equipment we're looking at to just to make sure because it's been almost two years since we actually sit down with that stuff. So all the equipment and any anything you got in mind you want to do or there's anything. And then we, we really got to tag the community center, maybe even the parks, I think, because I mean they've got their own budget, but it'd be nice if we could have it kind of you know, I think they're in a red book with some other stop, you know, within a year or so. So we may have the ability to do some more creative if there's one I agree. Okay, so we'll move on. Um, thank goodness we hired an office manager. Uh, I can't tell you how many people we interviewed, and and I want to first of all, I want to thank the chief and Renee. Uh, they came up with some pretty creative ideas, and really, we didn't reach anybody much in the newspaper, or the beach, or so. We first did it on Facebook and we had a good response. And then we went to uh, Indeed, and that's where we got now everybody and their brother response from Indeed. But we, we feel that we found the right person. It works out fine for her. She's got a uh, third grader at Notre Dame, so she'll drop him off. And when she gets off work, she'll pick him up. So Lynn will be busy training her. And she starts today. So don't scare her. What's, what's your name? Diane Heitman. <clears throat> and they, they, she's not from here, but her husband is, and they just moved back. Um, and they bought a house in, in Long Beach. Yeah. I think the so, real test um, is whether or not she comes back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scott, now don't scare her. <laughs> uh, okay, on the current billing adjustment documents just was made with the assistant, that's the next one, Civic, the correction of a 2022 billing error. Uh, the payment needed to be transferred from one customer's account to another. Two similar last names caused the problem. Lynn has talked to both customers and everyone is happy now. And I just to reinforce that, when I was first in here, I can tell you there are three people with the same last name. Two of them were related, one wasn't. So when the check came in, and then the one that I didn't apply it to called, he was not related to the other two. And he, he said, so I said, okay, let me look into it. Well, then I had to convince the other one that he hadn't, he knew he hadn't paid, but I had to convince him. And he's like, there's another person with that last name here besides my parents? I said, yes. And so he was fine. He came by and he looked at it and said, okay, I got it. So, Lynn took care of that. Um, the next item that we kind of talked, Scott, prior to being recorded and everybody wasn't here. And I'm going to let Greg explain about the Long Beach Country Club. The <clears throat> uh, Long Beach Country Club is for maintenance building. It's not the actual. Okay. Um, they had a leak on the service line. Um, and it, it must have ran for for a while before they realized they are not an issue. Um, they're, they're just wanting to call Vicky even forgiveness on their, on the bill. It's like 800 something dollars. 82950. Yeah. Um, typically, Lynn had already kind of told them that we probably wouldn't right. give any forgiveness for that. And I mean, that's pretty much policy with us. We just don't, they go to the meter. We have to buy the water, we have to pay for it. It's kind of hard for us to, you know, to even do it, really, to be honest, but um, we haven't done it in the past. And we get 
request a lot for that. You know, people call house blows out in the time, they go through thousands and thousands of gallons of water. They can turn in their insurance. A lot of, a lot of insurance companies that cover that. Oh, or I, don't, I don't know about totally. their situation. Yeah, yeah or totally. I don't think I'm being, I'm talking about like damage. If yes. Some damage and stuff like that. Insurance companies will pick up that water bill. I'm not sure if they will or something like that, but something they might be looking to. Okay. So that's I'll, kind of I'll, right. I'll put that on here for Lynn. She got it. We talked about it for the meetings. So, do we need a motion for that to say we're not going to do it? Okay. So, do I have a motion that we will not let them reverse their charges since we haven't done it in the past? I, I don't know whether I should abstain or whether being a member of the yeah. I don't know. I, I believe it would be appropriate for me to abstain. I also don't have any objection to policy and procedure as we normally do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a motion that the uh, that the club pay the, the, the water bill that is due based on their usage. And uh, that's the motion. Okay, and I will, uh, I'll talk to Linda Coleman and what Greg recommended about their insurance because it probably did some damage. So do I have a second? Maybe I'll second. Okay. So, Scott? Okay. John Wall? Yeah. Okay, Don? Yes. Rick? Yes. Aye. And I, I, so it's unanimous. So the last item is we had no request this month for reversal of late charges. That's been a long time coming. <laughs> so do I have, <clears throat> excuse me, anything uh, on Zoom, anybody want to make a comment? Okay, so do I need a motion? Well, our next meeting is April 24th. We're the fourth Monday for now. And I need a motion to adjourn. I motion. Thanks, Scott. And I second. All right, see you next month. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but that means filming, yeah. Okay, we'll call to order the Long Beach Public Works uh, Committee. <clears throat> I need, uh, oh, and here comes Rick. Good. Well, because we needed a forum. Yeah, so you did. Uh, we need a motion for the approval of minutes from the February 27th meeting. Uh, I'll that motion. Thank you. Do I, have a, do I have a second? I second. Oh, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Okay. So, uh, Greg, the Greg Paris Show. Good morning, everybody. Um, we had our water bond validated um, for 2022. Um, it was sent down to IFA. Um, according to the water on water target, no big water loss issues and all the water is accounted for. Um, if anybody would like to see that, we can, we can look at it. And see. Um, the retaining wall for the tower to start construction as soon as the uh, materials are delivered. Um, Bob October said he's expecting delivery of materials this week, and actually they were delivered this morning. Um, so that's going to be going forward. Oh, good. Um, On that, Greg, do you think there's maybe a day or two that we might want to barricade off Foxdale just to allow them to work since they're so close to the roadway there? I don't know if we have to or not. Pete does, so let us know, but I, I don't think so. He's used for working tight quarters. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, she helps. Um, yeah. 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 Even, you know, we did it for a day or two while he's up there doing the major stuff and at it for Mon and uh, yeah. down here at St. Lawrence. So yeah. just it progresses. Okay. Um, also, um, IDEM and EPA released their guideline, lead and copper inventory, and they're going to release a template that we can use to put our data in. It's it's going to be a lot of work, um, but we and we got to do it. We we have till twenty twenty four to beat that down. Okay. So um, once we get that template, it should be out this week. We'll know more about what we're going to have to put into that. Um, it sounds like we're going to have to know exactly what type, size, and service line it's actually coming into the homes, which isn't our responsibility, but I guess forcing us to. And we have we have to know that information. So and then I'll ask you to report the GPS. Oh, yeah, so. so the Lakeshore Drive upgrades that we're looking at doing, will this assist if those are done prior to that? That's gonna help. Then those will not need to go onto that inventory credit. Okay. Yeah, anything that we get done before 2024, we won't have to we won't have to inventory it as a web. And then in 2024, what month was it? Was the latter part or the 16th? I think is the next. So we've got a good 18 months for that. Yeah. So I um, I talked to our vendor last week. Um, our supplier that's getting this uh, our materials. They're speculating we should have those um, at the end of April, early May. Um, so once we get the materials and we can have to go back to the house. And have to start the bidding process. And like we had talked about before, I, I, I know we talked about it, maybe John, about giving like a year, you know, say a year from June, you know, that way, because everybody's going to be booked up for this year, you, you're probably not going to get anybody starting it until maybe winter, you know, or early spring. So that's kind of the buzz that I've been here. I think once you get the parts back, let's get in front of the council again, update the council, and then we'll get a you know, approval from the council to move forward on and allowing us to get the bidding process going and that and then you can you know meet before and get it you know. yeah okay that sounds good like, um but and i think that's that's all i have could i have that so that when lynn and diane yeah. I was like, okay thank you hey gregory we talked about your inventory oh, sorry. <laughs> When you talk about your inventory, what's our leakage percentage or whatever? What's the type of inventory you guys call us something else? Um, they call it unaccountable water. They call it um, unbillable water. Um, our percentage is probably three three percent, which is very low. I don't even look at it unless you're looking anything over in Latin. Okay. So we our system is pretty tight, and we can adjust for five. For most of our unbillable water. So um we it always comes up pretty good at the end. So yeah. thank you. Okay. Uh, well at the end of, I'll ask you. Soon. Okay. Good. Tom. Morning. Morning. Um our CCNG spring summer paving project was awarded. Uh, last Monday night, and I was awarded to Milestone. I really don't have much of an update for uh, 2023, stop 17, nothing really has much change for that. And um, out of repairs and paving, we, we haven't had much discussion on that either. So we we'll kind of have to start moving forward on discussions on that, what we're going to do, what we can do, maybe. Right. It, it wants you know, when we get a contract with Milestone, which is got to get into, and uh, I think you were authorized to sign it, right? Yes. So as soon as the contract, and actually I texted that Milestone guy and asked him if he was going to get it out right away, and he said, yeah, they were on it already. So as long as that all that gets back to end up by the 6th, that maybe what we'll do is, you know, set up a free job with them, which we usually do anyway, and then see if we can take them around and show them the ones you want to do. Okay, and see if we can afford to have them all or whatever. You know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, other than that, everything's been going along pretty good. We're trying to 
fix some things there in, the, in between the weather that keeps changing right now. That one day we're going to have snow on the weekend, and maybe not. Maybe we are. We don't know. And then didn't I think it was Mark that put it out about the leaf pickup? It's in April. The, is it like is, are they going to do like the one swipe through the town? Yep, one one pass through. Um, usually we have them start on the west end and work their way uh, east. Okay. And, and was it at the end of April? April 24th through the 28th. Okay. And this morning, Renee is working on putting it on the town's website also. It'll be in big old red lettering for everybody has to notice as well. And that's it. Thank you. Okay. So the water, uh, I need to remind Chris Willoughby that we need a an ordinance for the vacant lots. So I will I'll take care of that. Actually I'll send him an email and ask him when we can look at it. Uh, the next item is the this is a very old business. It's about the water advisories uh, uh, discussion in January 2022 to work with civic system and for the audience the civic system is our program that we record everything that we the, that the residents pay. Uh, and they were going to set up a real time online credit card payment that will automatically load into our cash receipting. Civic told them at the time that they were working to get more user friendly. Well, it took a year. Lynn just reported they emailed her on March 14. So I think we need to make a motion, and I'm happy we have a forum. That, we, that the water department will take charge of getting this to happen because it will be the water's cash receiving, not the tenants. So do I have a second on that? Yeah, I second that. Okay. And then we'll have to do a roll call. I'm sorry, it's the... It's the cash receiving and it's online credit card for the water when people make water payments. So it's just to get it going. Yes, to get it going. Okay. So, Scott. Oh, can you unmute yourself? Okay. I can read your. I saw you sign. Okay. I saw uh, you. Sorry. Rick? Aye. Don? Yes. John? Aye. And I'm an aye. Okay. So, the next item is the Public Works New Business. Is that you? Or is that Mark? I mean, we haven't done anything specific with it that I'm aware of recently, but we need to start getting the department heads. I mean, unless you've already done that. Department no, heads. Yeah, this was the one we were going to do just for like the infrastructure for um, drainage issues, major paving, stuff like that. Because in the capital plan, we don't have some of these things in there, but we want to include that. So I think. The goal is for myself to work with Greg and Tom, come up with like a five year plan of like Lakeshore Drive paving and some of the other things and start tackling some of these projects and putting kind of a price to them and then getting it to the budget and finance committee so they can plug in some numbers. Okay. We we need to revisit, you know, like the plows and whatever other equipment we're looking at too, just to make sure because it's been almost two years since we actually sit down with that stuff. So all the equipment and then any anything you got in mind you want to do or there's anything and then we, we really got to take community center maybe even the parks i think is i mean they've got their own budget but it'd be nice if we could have kind of you know i think they're in a red book with some really stop you know within a year or so so we may have to be able to do some more creative with their funding i agree okay. Okay, so we'll move on. Um, thank goodness we hired an office manager. Uh, I can't tell you how many people we interviewed, and and I want to first of all, I want to thank the chief and Renee. Uh, they came up with some pretty creative ideas, and really, we didn't reach anybody much in the newspaper, or the beach, or so. We first did it on Facebook, and we had a good response, and then. We went to um, Indeed, and that's where we got. Now everybody and their brother responds from Indeed, but we we feel that we found the right person. It works out fine for her. She's got a uh, third grader at Notre Dame, so she'll drop him off, and when she gets off work, she'll pick him up. So Lynn will be busy training her 
and she starts today. So don't scare her. What's, what's her name? Diane Heitman. <clears throat> and they, they, she's not from here, but her husband is, and they just moved back. Um, and they bought a house in, in Long Beach. Yeah. I think the real so, test um, is whether or not she comes back tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Scott, now don't scare her. Uh, okay, on the current billing adjustment documents, Jessica's made with the assistant, that's the next one, Civic, the correction of a 2022 billing error. Uh, the payment needed to be transferred from one customer's account to another. Two similar last names caused the problem. Lynn has talked to both customers and everyone is happy now. And I just to reinforce that when I was first in here, I can tell you there are three people with the same last name. Two of them were related, one wasn't. So when the check came in, and then the one that I didn't apply it to called, he was not related to the other two. And he, he said, so I said, okay, let me look into it. Well, then I had to convince the other one that he hadn't, he knew he hadn't paid, but I had to convince him. And he's like, there's another person with that last name here besides my parents? I said, yes. And so he was fine. He came by and he looked at it and said, okay, I got it. So Lynn took care of that. Um, the next item that we kind of talked, Scott, prior to being recorded and everybody wasn't here. And I'm gonna let Greg explain about the Long Beach Country Club. Uh, the Long Beach Country Club is for maintenance building. It's not the actual. Okay. Um, they had a leak on the service line, um, and it, it must have ran for for a while before they realized they had not an issue. Um, they're they're just wondering if we can give them forgiveness on their on the bill. It's like eight hundred something dollars. Eight twenty nine fifty. Yeah. Um, typically. Lynn had already kind of told them that we probably wouldn't right. give any forgiveness for that. And I mean, that's pretty much policy with us. We just don't, if it goes to the meter, we have to buy the water, we have to pay for it. It's kind of hard for us to, you know, to even do it, rather to be honest. But um, we haven't done it in the past. And we get requests a lot for that. You know, people call, house blows out in the maritime, they go through thousands and thousands of gallons of water. They can turn in their insurance. A lot of, a lot of insurance companies that cover that. Oh, or I, don't, I don't know about like their situation. Yeah, yeah or totally. I don't think I'm being, I'm talking about like damage. Yes, or damage and stuff like that. Insurance companies will pick up that water bill. I'm not sure if they will or something like that. It's something they want to look into. Okay. So that's I'll, kind of I'll, I'll put that on here for Lynn. Mm -hmm. She kind of we talked about it for the meetings. So do we need a motion for that to say we're not going to do it? Okay. So do I have a motion that we will not let them reverse their charges since we haven't done it in the past? I, I don't know whether I should abstain or whether being a member of the club, yeah. I don't know. I believe it would be appropriate for me to abstain I also don't have any objection to policy and procedure as we normally do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a motion that the uh, that the club pay the, the the water bill that is due based on their usage, and uh, that's the motion. Okay, and I will. Uh, I'll talk to Linda Coleman and what Greg recommended about their insurance, because it probably did some damage. So do I have a second? Uh, maybe I'll have a second. Okay. So, Scott? Okay. John Wall? Yeah, I'm in favor. Okay, Don? Yes. Rick? Yes, I. Right. And I, I, so it's unanimous. So the last item is we had no request this month for reversal of late charges. That's been a long time coming. <laughs> so do I have, <clears throat> excuse me, anything uh, on Zoom, anybody want to make a comment? Okay. 
So do I need a motion? Well, our next meeting is April 24th. We're the fourth Monday for now. And I need a motion to adjourn. I motion. Thanks, Scott. The nice second. All right. See you next month. Thank you.